it is Irina TL. Welcome to yet another video. Today, I just want you to mingle with us our big family cassava ugali. Why a big family? Yes, most families in Africa are really big. To some families, big is an understatement. Some families are huge families, mostly in the village. It's quite different in town, yes, but in the villages they are really big. And also it is typical of African families to be extended. Maybe that can explain why they are big. So in town they can still be not as big as in the villages but still extended. It is rare to find nuclear families. So today auntie is mingling our ogali for the evening. And I felt I could give you a narrative about this and why this much. So most cases you cannot, when you come into an African family, you cannot immediately tell that it's an extended family during day or in the morning hours. Because that time, the boys have already gone to the garden, the girls, also girls go garden. But everyone is already scattered because sometimes you have like different gardens, three different gardens like it's the season is on some people are cultivating in the maize others in potatoes as you know so you cannot easily see people together the best time to see them is mainly meal time as all have all of them have to eat but not all meals gather our families together more so on the working days on or in the seasons of gardening the meal that is most important is the evening meal when everyone is back home so that's when we all gather and that's how you can really tell how big a family is when it comes on a meal time but typically an evening meal so this particular evening our auntie is mingling our cassava ugali for the big family at this time everyone is home and being a village that we do not have electricity to put on the light and all that we eat before it gets so dark in case it gets dark that is a rare those are rare days when we really have to eat in the night those are really really rare days that's when food has delayed or the person cooking was caught up in something you know those delays that are inevitable but most cases if not all the time we eat before the sun completely disappears we eat with the sunset scientifically it is the best time to eat because as you know it is not good to eat and then go to sleep and most doctors will tell you that night food is actually useless yes you're supposed to eat plenty breakfast a medium lunch and then evening something light but in africa we don't know that we do not know that see what aunt is making for dinner a huge cassava ugali oh yes because we believe okay during the day someone used a lot of energy to cultivate to do all the chores at home to think like you know so that body has to use that food so that early morning the next day you have the energy to go and cultivate and most families in the villages start their cultivation even before the sun rises yes some go to the garden when they are still just surviving on the light of the moon so by the time the sun is rising they are done with the biggest portion that they are supposed to cover that day. So they are like, you know what? We have to eat a big dinner because we have to wake up early morning with strength to go and work in the garden. Guys, that's why we eat heavy dinner. So as you can see, the mingling is done and is serving 
the boys eat alone, the girls eat alone, the women eat alone, but the head of the family it's alone you cannot serve him with the boys or with the rest of the men you have to give him that honor that distinctive honor so that is how auntie will be serving the boys alone the girls alone the head of the family alone and the children too alone yes what he, what we have made for this evening is mainly cassava ugali in some cultures they will mix the cassava flour with the millet flour to also mingle such a thing but it will be um you will see particles of the millet within yeah but this particular one we're just having it as plain cassava ugali you've seen how she made it just boil the water add the flour and keep turning around and turning around until all the flour is evenly mixed together to make a dough like uh, uh what should i call it a dough like formation which will be our gully thank you for watching and listening to me